Yo, welcome back. This is Stu42 with another Minecraft episode. Uh, just following on from last time, I've redone some of the piping for the oxygen and nitrogen have gone under the floor instead so that we can see the amounts over here. Uh, I've also set up a bit of automated processing. Oh, well, semi-automated. We've got a macerator, washer, macerator, centrifuge so we can dump ore in there. And it pretty much makes it through to the end nice and easy. Uh, also have an electrolyzer here that just has an extra pipe leading up for some oxygen that I was... Uh, electrolyzing out. Um, trying to do the really quick intro this time compared to last episode which was, yeah last episode went for a lot longer than I was expecting. Anyway, this time is going to be getting this paralyzed oven back up and running. I just need to plumb it in a bit more. Uh, we've got input and output for both uh, both items and fluids because uh, what we're going to do is we're going to run this with nitrogen going in, uh, of course wood going in as well. We'll get charcoal out as per usual and we'll also get out a thing called charcoal byproducts. Now now, charcoal byproducts is a liquid, uh, but if we hit U on it, we can distill this into a few different things. We've got wood tar, wood vinegar, or wood gas. Uh, and what I want to make this episode about is the distillation tower, where we can get all three of them at once. Um, ideally, we'll then put each one of these three through another distillation tower as well uh, and get four of these things running. But I'm not entirely sure that'll happen in this episode, mainly because the distillation tower block takes four EV circuits, which is pretty gnarly. Uh, and I'm not sure, I mean, I made that set of 16, yeah, we've got 13 of them left. So I could probably make three distillation towers, which yeah, that's probably good enough for now. Um, but it's also going to depend a lot on stainless steel because we are going to need stainless steel, clean stainless steel machine casings. And each one of these is taking, so what's that, two, yeah, like eight stainless steel ingots just for one of these. And I'm going to need a bunch of them. We have 182 stainless steel. Uh, likely we can do, yeah, we've got a few stacks here that need to be smelted. So I need to get some fuel together and um, we'll get that stuff together. I'll also get a bunch of the parts ready and yet, yet more of the item transport pipes uh, to get the wood and charcoal and stuff in and out. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and get some bits and pieces. See you back in just a bit. So quite a bit of time has gone by. I've put all this piping in over here. Uh, I did have to change out the input and output buses for the four slot ones uh, because I forgot that you need to have the circuit in there for what we need to do. Uh, now the other thing I've been thinking about is this pipe run is going to be really long and we're going to end up with the usual wood and charcoal bouncing around inside there problem. So what I was thinking we might do, well, a couple of things we might do to stop that. I'm gonna grab the wood and the charcoal barrels from over there and put them over closer to the oven. Uh, the other thing I'm gonna do is, I've actually started doing it already. I started taking this apart and we're gonna move it south just a little bit. So down here, I've started digging a tunnel. This sort of heads down um, right on top of, I don't know how far down we'll go yet. We'll, see how we go with that um but down to here and this will hook up to this just with the same sort of pipes maybe the ender io pipes i'm not sure yet um being this close we may actually try and hook up some redstone uh to turn the farm off when the barrel is full and all that sort of stuff uh, and that should at least stop wood bouncing around charcoal we may still have a problem with but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it uh the other thing worth mentioning is i've smelted all of that steel stainless steel that is uh we've got uh where did i put it yeah i've got 11 of these i've got some generators i haven't made the input and output hatches and stuff yet we've got i think i'm just missing the pumps yeah distillation tower cool so that's one of those i don't know if there's a a quest for it though Multiple goals. No, upgrade there. High pressure. Oh, sorry. oh, there we go. Oh, wow. We're going to need to make 40 of these. So I might make 40 of these because we're going to use them anyway. Um, so I'll do that between now and next time. The only other thing, well, between now and when I come back, uh, the only other thing worth mentioning is I've been trying to cheat at these trees. I planted a whole bunch of them elsewhere. Uh, use the clippers to get the leaf blocks. Put the leaf blocks around like this. Uh, it's double thick on the top and I tried adding this another layer here, but 
it appears in the process I've completely broken how this works and it's now not harvesting much at all so what I'm thinking I'm gonna to have to do is I'm gonna to have to scrap all of these we'll start again uh, but I'll plant it a bit more properly I might start it did seem to work one block higher if I put one bit of dirt and then plant on top and then replace the dirt with a piece of wood I think it'll work so we'll, we'll test that theory between now and next time uh, and I'll move this over there so I'll be back in just a sec once I've done a bunch of this manual labor um, and we can get to actually maybe setting some stuff up so I'll see you in a sec so we have done quite a bit of work behind the scenes now this is very interesting here we've got these on two blocks of dirt and I've just sort of left this for a while without emptying and it's doing really well without even needing to replace the dirt so what I might do is I'll yeah I might just do some other ones with one block of dirt to build the canopy one block lower and then another one a block lower again that'll give me a three block thick bit of leaves I think the where I went wrong before was when you place a leaf into the world from the shears it's no longer a leaf like that it's actually just a block that you've placed and it won't decay and it won't behave like a normal leaf so um, I'm pretty sure that's what was going on there now we have this all set up here we have a little down thing over here we've plumbed everything in we've got some water in there everything's all set up pretty much we haven't got the haven't got the interface pipe there so we're going to need interface and a bunch of these I am short on routing pipes I've just realized so this can go all the way back to <laughs> I kind of need a um yeah okay I'm gonna need some more junction pipes I'm gonna need to make some of those uh, this is all hooked up as well so we even have the thing in there to keep charcoal in there but believe it or not we've run out of charcoal altogether um, which is not a great state to be in uh, the other thing I did I splashed out and made a ton of item conduits so yeah and that was I mean I I made a whole bunch of um, that pulsating um, plate stuff uh, and then had a bunch of ethylene left over so I thought why not I'll make these and I'll see how far I can get with getting this down to the down to the bottom so this is level with yeah where do we need to go I think we need to go I don't even know if I've got enough but I do really want the wood to just go straight from there down into the down into that which would be really handy if we could get that done now we don't need we don't need that anymore because wood's gonna go straight into it and this will help everything get banked up again when it's stopped so let's just do that we are gonna have enough that's good now we can oh yeah extract insert awesome we can go that way cool so we're gonna have wood going straight into there and we just kind of want to keep this churning as fast as we can this here I think we're gonna move this around a bit so what we'll do is we'll have this coming across here instead to come down To there I've pulled these over so you've got no oak draw uh, sorry no charcoal whatsoever um, I'm gonna need to make a bunch more pipes and things like that in fact I'm wondering yeah if the woods over here maybe we can yeah I might have to think about that we might have the stuff from the farm come straight into the wood because the thing is actually that woods gonna last us for ages I don't I think I might just take this back over the other side and um, have it sitting there I can't imagine I'll ever need 4,000 wood to craft with uh, and the only thing I use it for is charcoal so I might take that over the other side that means only charcoal is here and you know what we can do the same thing we can just leave this here 
and have this pulling the charcoal out and that'll just stop when it gets to where it needs to be awesome so we want all right let me sort this out because i didn't really want this episode to be about this stuff i really want to get this running and have the distillation tower in so um i am going to break again i need to run some piping underneath here for our fuel so we'll run some fuel across here uh, we'll get another battery buffer and some more HV batteries together so that we can power all of the distillation towers on well hopefully the one set of battery buffers um, but we'll work out some stuff with how many batteries you need and all that sort of stuff so I'll be back again once I've made some stuff I've run out of stainless steel this time so it might be a might be a bit of a while behind the scenes for this one so um, hopefully I'll have everything together when I come back Alrighty, so everything is running. We've got some blocks of charcoal in there at the moment because we've got not a lot of actual charcoal around. Uh, and I think I have made all the bits even for the quest for the distillation tower, which is kind of cool. So let's grab that one and 40 of those. Da -da -ding. Cool, I already did that bit. Did that bit, cool. We can detect, what do we want, life fuel? You know what, let's get let's get the loot bags why not claim that cool uh we need to throw those in there and that in there now what else are we going to need we're going to need the turbo generator we've got a bunch of stuff and i have started sort of setting up here so what i am thinking is this thing is the front bottom there we are going to want power to go to four of them we're going to go one two three four so this is the first step and the three outputs are going to go into these three and then we're going to probably have pipe central to deal with it all but for now this is what we're doing so we have a battery buffer yes four slots so this We've only got sodium, so we've got to make do with sodium batteries. That should make do with that. Now we need to... I have got fuel coming close. I don't know if we're going to need... One, two, or three. Gut feeling says we may be able to survive with two of these. One that way. One that way and that goes up that goes there cool so that's two of those running awesome awesome and awesome cool now we're using our old aluminium cable trick again so let's just grab that and we are going to go dun, dun. leave that spot out because where are we hv energy hatch that's what we want we want that there facing down where are my snips there they are awesome now let's just not hook this up just yet now, what else do we need? We need a... So what do we want? Input is on the bottom. The output bus is on the bottom. And the output hatches are any layers except. Okay, so we have the input hatch, which is the liquid, has to be on the bottom. And it's coming from over there, so let's... Let's just put it behind and we'll throw the maintenance hatch there. We have output of, oh, where are we going to do that? Actually, let's put the output this side as well so that we can zip it back over to there. We have this filling up the rest. And what we're going to do is have the output hatches 
probably there. Oh, it's already forming. That's kind of cool. I'm going to need to stand on something. Let's use cobblestone instead. All right. <laughs> I would do that, wouldn't I? So this has got three outputs, which means we're going to have to have three of these outputs. So we'll do that. And ding, ding. And that should form. Awesome. So we have everything loose. Let's grab uh, down here, I think. Yes, one left. Fantastic. And while we did actually use quite a lot of that machine casing, oh, we're going to need a bunch of, hmm, we're going to need a bunch of piping as well. So let's use I was going to use some steel fluid pipes for that that means we need just the normal pipe let's go yeah three quickly whip up some of these. I'm not sure how many we're going to need. Well, probably lots in the long run, actually, because we're going to be putting all sorts of stuff from distillation tower to distillation tower to distillation tower. So we may as well grab a ton of these. Cool. Let's grab that out, grab that out, throw those back, put that back there. Oh, where is it? There we go. Cool. So we have that. Hey, come on. Hey, no fair. <laughs> That's so not fair. <laughs> All right. I am going to have to, yeah, I'm going to have to go and grab all of my bits and tools. All right, before we do that, though, let's throw that onto there. This is going to have to go up and over. Whoa. Just as well we made hot pipes. Actually, you know what? Let's, I kind of want to move that now. Um, this is the liquid one, so that's cool. You know what, I am going to destroy against my... Actually, you know what we can do? We can disconnect. We can go like this. We can... Uh, no, there we go, connect, that'll throw all of the liquid down into there, which will clear this one out, uh, wait till it's empty, oh look at that, perfect, break it, and now we can put it in that spot which we want, Cool. So this is now happily filling with charcoal byproducts. This here is not currently running. All right, I'll split this here. I will come back in a sec. I will fix this up with yeah, whatever happened there. That was a bit of a waste of tape. Um, I'll go and grab my tools and get this fixed. See you in a sec. So it seems I was just a little bit derpy once again. Uh, right at the bottom, incomplete structure. I was not paying attention. And some of you probably noticed it. But I've gone back and had to get the top cap for that. Now, huh, everything is ready once, once you've finished it. Cool, so I don't need all my tools in the end. Right, so what do we need for this? We need to have the charcoal byproducts. And do we need anything else? 
So if we hit U on that, this is going to be, nope, just a distillation tower. So I think we're ready to turn it on. All right, we're plugged in, full batteries. Let's hit this thing and see how we go. It's on now. Over here, we should start seeing, ha, ah, look at that, wood tar, wood vinegar, and wood gas. 56 buckets of each. Now, I think with the distillation tower, once you end up filling this up, uh, it just wastes it. So you'll end up voiding a whole bunch of liquids unless you uh, stop it manually or have some sort of um, automatic stop kind of thing. I'm not sure how much we've got left. Oh yeah, cool, we're getting quite a bit of it. All right, so now the only thing left for me to do in this episode is I actually want to put one down this end and start making methanol again. Now I think it's wood vinegar that that happens from. So if we just hit you on that, wood vinegar, that makes methanol, yep. As well as a whole bunch of interesting things. Uh, the other thing we really want to make out of this is, I think it's wood tar. Yeah, wood tar. Wood tar gives us toluene, which we need for our explosives, and also a bit of phenol, which is uh, going to be really handy very, very soon. And then the other one, which is the reason why I'm keeping all three of these, wood gas, we get ethylene. Not much of it. A whole, you know, a whole bucket of wood gas only gives you 20 millibuckets of ethylene, but it's it'll tick over over time and you know it's something that's interesting for us to have rather than trying to make it with fuel um, the other way we were so it looks like i need wood vinegar it looks like i need another one of these distillation towers and a bunch more stainless steel so that will keep me busy for a little bit i'll be back in a bit i'll uh have another one of these things ready and we can do some more distilling see you in a sec all right, I think I have everything that I need. Uh, this tank is what happens when you accidentally leave your Minecraft on overnight. I don't have a junk loader, but I left myself logged in, forgot completely. Um, went to bed, woke up in the morning, and wahoo, lots of seed oil. Uh, so I've also got this pipe leading to our methanol so that we can put some methanol in. I have made a bunch of stuff. Um, I've made the two, well the only two that I can make of these, I need more EV circuits before I can do anything else. This one is going to go here, and the other one that I wanted to get done is the wood tar, I believe. So the wood tar can go here, and then what have we got, energy hatches, HV energy hatch, one there, one there. Let's quickly get that and that. Uh, we want that to face down, that to face down, that to face up, that to face up. Awesome. Let's just put that back in. Cool, so those are powered. We're needing maintenance hatches. So I was putting the maintenance hatches on the fronts. Awesome. Now, input, input. Now I've made, I had two of these output hatches from the quest that I had to do. I made the rest of them out of MV because I just didn't have enough stainless steel, but I did have tons of aluminium. They don't quite hold as much fluid, but we should still be able to use them. Um, so I'm using those instead. Same for the input hatches, MV. So we'll have one input hatch there, one input hatch there. Uh, what I might do though is, oops, no, I didn't want to cut that one out. I do kind of want to still walk between here, which is sort of what I'm getting at. Uh, I got tiny steel fluid pipes. Each of these processes takes two seconds. This thing does 800 liters a second, so it should keep up with the two seconds. Uh, what we're going to need is the wood vinegar first. So that's going to be there, up and up. And I want to be able to walk under it. So that's going to come back to here like that. This one is going to go across like this. 
for there. And then I have a bunch going across the top to the third or well, fourth one, which I'm going to need to make a whole bunch of EV circuits and all that sort of stuff for. Uh, as you know from previous episodes, the EV circuits need the clean room. They need, yeah, a lot of precursor stuff. So it's not going to be super fast to do. Now we need over here, I do have... Yes, I forgot to get these. Uh, we don't need power. That's the spare energy hatch. Uh, spare battery buffer that I don't need. Uh, can I get over here? Yep. So the one that I wanted to get going is this one. Because this one is the one that will do methanol. Uh, yep, so it's obviously liking that. Now, this is where I'm sort of having a bit of internal debate over where I put the outputs. So what I want to do is I want, I do want to use these higher 56 bucket output hatches, but to catch stuff that I'm not likely to use all that often, because I'm probably not going to do stuff that's, uh, what should we look for? Uh, methanol. I'm probably not going to use pipes for all the stuff coming out of here. I will probably use uh, just tanks even, um, especially for things like, uh, where are we? Ah, this one. So wood vinegar, you know, methyl acetate, 10 millibuckets per thing. I'm not likely to use that a whole lot, um, but it's really good to still collect it. So 56 buckets of storage would be really good to just hold that there. Uh, Acetone might be similar. Water, we're just going to avoid, so it doesn't matter. The acetic acid, maybe as well. Ethanol, 10. Yeah, cool. So we really want, and methanol we're piping off, so we can use one of the small ones for that. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it goes six blocks high, or seven blocks high, and we want the fourth one to be methanol. So what that means is. Actually, which one did we want to be? We want the top one to be our 56 bucket one. And maybe the ethanol one as well, potentially. Just because they're the ones that are going to accumulate the slowest. I mean, we can always swap them out later if we um, get stuff out. So we want two small ones, then a large one, then two more small ones, and then a large one. And where are we going to put these? This is going to be a plumbing nightmare, actually, because we're going to have this running along the top going to the other one as well. That's going to be annoying. Yeah, so this is going to be... Yeah, that's going to be running along there. So. Where are we going to? I will well put this in now. Awesome. Uh, and that's going to go here. Now that is the pipe for the methanol. How high did I say it was? The fifth one? This is going to take some organizing. Yeah, fifth block up or the fourth output. So one, two, three, and my fourth one's just above. Excellent. So we're probably going to want machine casings at the back because we're not. Yeah, we could even have outputs at the front, to be honest. You know what? Let's put machine casings where, where we can't have stuff. So around here, so we need, what are we, the output hatch MV, yep. So that one is going to be the one for that. You know what, I'm going to have to probably put the rest out the, yeah, the front, maybe? Or maybe just a little bit out the side. Oh, yeah, I don't really know. I don't really want to put them out the side, to be honest, because we need to walk past the sides. Hmm. 
Maybe. Maybe, maybe. This is actually the hardest bit of the planning I hadn't really thought of. Uh, the water we just want to avoid, so that's okay. We can put that around the back somewhere. So that is uh, the second one up, and that is going to be one of these. So the second one up can be... You know what? Let's just put it... Let's just put it here. So that one's going to be water. The bottom one was... Acetic acid we may want. See, maybe we should make that one one of the big ones because I don't think we can hold it. Yeah, okay. Executive decision. Let's make that one one of the big ones and we'll throw that in the front here, actually. So that's going to be, yep, 56 one. Awesome, so there's one that level, one that level. We need one. You know what, I'm going to run out of clean stainless steel blocks. Yeah, I'm well and truly going to run out of these blocks. All right, I will have to cut this one more time as I need to go and make some more of these. I do have a bit more stainless steel, so I should be able to make some. Uh, let me make those to where I'm going to put the extra ones of these, and I'll be back again in just a sec. Okay, I totally underestimated how tall this thing was going to be. I ended up having to go away and mine some more ruby and all sorts to get some uh, chrome and manganese and bits and pieces to make more stainless steel. I do, however... Well, I have just made another batch of 20 of these, which should be the last bit we need for here. And that should be formed. Now, we want this to be connected. Yep. And let's have a look. Everything is ready. We are just going to need our tape, which I think I made a couple of extras, yes it, uh, uh, yeah I know there's a 10 second gap on waiting for that to move, but that one there seems to fail quite often, like even if I haven't been through an anchor for a while, I don't know what's up with that particular one, anyway let's go here, apply the tape, we're all good to go. Now, what do we need? We are going to need stuff to be input. So, that's the input slot there, which is this one. So, let's connect it, connect it, and connect this one as well. Um, all right, let's have a look. We've got some input gas in there. That is going there. Let's start it up. Awesome. So, we've got acetic acid here. We have... Oh, no, 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 that's not good, <laughs> that's not good, okay, so what we've probably got is stuff that is too hot for a wooden pipe, okay, so wood gas, oh, that's wood gas, I don't want wood gas, I really, really, really don't want wood gas coming out of that, I have got the wrong way around. Ah, quick, stop it. So have I got the wrong height there for the wood gas? That is... Why has that got wood gas coming out of it? There's methanol in that one. You know what, I think I'm going to need to do some steel pipes or something else for that. That's clearly too hot. But we've got ethanol coming out of there, acetic acid coming out of there. We have uh, the water that I don't care about there. Um, ethanol, acetone, and the one at the very top there, methyl acetate. So those are not going to be used for a whole hell of a lot. Um, we do have the right thing, however, coming out of there. Just Wrong pipes. Can't use wooden pipes. I'm going to need to think of some other way of doing this. Now, when we look at our ethanol, sorry, methanol, which is what we're using. 
Uh, method, no, no, wrong one. I need to click in there before pushing O. Yeah, methanol. So ethanol, methanol, and acetone. So there is methanol. It just says, oh, there we go. Temperature 295K. Dang it. And there's 300 coming out every two seconds. So we should be able to do this with really tiny pipes. I am going to cut this one more time. Sorry, this episode is going to become another long one, but I really, really, really want to get this last bit done. Um, I'll be back in a sec once I've made a bunch more pipes to get over there. Already last time back. Let's do the final hookup. Oh, no, it's that one we want. Yay, methanol going into there. It's a really long run of pipe, so I'm not sure how well this is going to work. Let's see if we can see some in there. So we've got 513494. There we go. Cool. So that is now getting into there, and we can turn this thing back on, which will... Keep processing until probably the input is out. Which I think we've got quite a bit of wood vinegar to go through. So awesome. And then we've got some acetic acid and bits and pieces that we can use for other stuff. So that'll be another episode though. There's a few things that we can use this stuff for. I don't think, well acetone we've definitely got a use for because we can use acetone, heat it up to make ethanone I think it is. And then ethanone with a bunch of nitrogen and other bits and pieces makes the, um, the stuff we need to make cetane boosted diesel, which we're definitely going to do, because uh, that'll give us a lot more bang for our buck out of the fuel. Uh, and the other stuff, yeah, I'm not sure what we'll do with the other stuff for now. Definitely nothing with the water, that's for sure. Maybe something with the acetic acid, I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, that is gonna be all from me for this episode. Again, sorry, it went a bit longer than I was expecting, um, but we ended up getting two of these things done. Before next time, I'm gonna to have to get a ton more bits and pieces lined up. I'm gonna to have to fire up the clean room again over there. I do still need to move it, but for now we'll fire it up over there and get some more EV circuits made. Um, yeah, and then we'll see what we'll get up to next time. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and as always, I'll see you next time.